Good morning. We are in the St. George Airport right now. Hello. Courtney's here. Jason's here. Uh, Gymshark's here. Gymshark. Good. I'm rocking Gymshark. Courtney, are you rocking Gymshark right now? Duh, where is it? Right there, oh, on the sleeve. There. We are heading to LA, can you guys see? <clears throat> I am sick, <clears throat> a little sinus infection I picked up uh, after that wild New Year's Eve. We're heading to LA for a Gymshark meetup. We're actually going to Santa Monica, that's where the pop-up store is gonna be, so instead of doing the LA Fitness Expo, Gymshark is doing this cool pop-up store where we are going to be checking out all the new, new clothes. Nikki B has her collection there. It's gonna be a crazy weekend, let's strap up. He's ready to do it? Let's go to LA. In your purple Toyota, the morning is waking slow and the traffic's not moving. There's a gas leak in North Town and they can't seem to fix it up so they call you. Yo! So we are here, I lived here. One of my very first YouTube videos is of me dancing in the streets in Santa Monica here. Cause I lived like three blocks away from this exact location. So to see Gymshark coming here for the pop-up store is insane. I can't wait to see it inside. Nikki, Black Letter season two, it's dropping. We're gonna have a great time. Athletes, so many different athletes here. I feel like I'm in my hood right now. It's like my neighborhood back in the day. I, I, I love moving, but I also love living here too. Let's go check it out. Nikki B here. It's her. It's her weekend. I know. She's everywhere. You like, are everywhere. Is it, is it weird to see that much of you everywhere? It's a little overwhelming. Which Especially one? like when you know when yeah, your imperfections are at, you're like, oh god. No. Which one's your favorite? The one in the front. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Digging it. <laughs> I was not going to think that. So this yeah, weekend is going to be crazy. You I like did the hair up. Paris. You did your last pop-up store, what was it, last March? Yeah. Here in LA? In New York. And, oh yeah, in New York. That was crazy. Yeah. So being in LA now that you're here, how do you feel like, you feel like it's kind of, like it's going to be better than New York? Yeah. First of all, it's warm. <laughs> because yeah. it's so cold in New York last year. Yeah. Like dying. We were just in New York before. Yeah. yeah. So cold. But do what line do you like better? Like what? Well, this one's just cooler. This one's more LA. It's more like lifestyle, like swag. And I feel like this store is so much bigger than the last Huge. one. This store is, yeah. Yeah, the other one's less than half the size, I think. Wow. So it should be good. It should go smoother. It should be good. Yeah. All I'm going to say is I'm kind of looking at some of her stuff and I'm like, I kind of want that in the gallery <laughs> still. Like, not, like, maybe not that. I like the colors. Like, I couldn't rock that. I just couldn't, like, anatomically, it wouldn't work. <laughs> I don't know, would you like this one? No, I'm kidding. Definitely. Um, but no, it's the color the colors here, so we've been picking out some colors for my line. I'm looking at Nikki's colors and I'm like, gosh, I kinda wish I would have gone with that, like that orange one she has. She did a good job picking out the colors, so it's gonna be a super cool weekend. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. What's up, guys? We're heading over to the Gymshark Meet and Greet pop-up store here in LA, in my old stomping grounds. I'm so stuffy, super, super bad sinus infection, but we're gonna power through it. We're gonna go hug people. We're gonna go show you guys the behind the scenes of a pop-up Gymshark store. I'm in all black today. Corny's in pretty much all black all today. Black. Callum's in all black today. Jason's in all black. <laughs> you, get the, you get the memo. We're gonna go over there, we're gonna create havoc. Oh, who do we got rolling in right now? Karina. I'm just gonna go throw a camera in her face without even her knowing it. Oh my gosh, is that Karina? Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> You're nice. Walter Nation. Why does she always look so good no matter what? Because look at it, there's a, no, okay, no. okay, okay, I have abs, so but good. she's got ass. Okay, <laughs> so you got one <laughs> or the other, I'm you can't away. have both. I'm running away. Like, I'm like, this. this is Nikki B here. Yeah, Nikki she's fucked That's pretty fire. Fucked. That's fire, I like it. All right, let's go do some damage over at the pop-up store. Hey! Super. Yeah. Logan Paul, you might have a pool bus, but we have a party bus here. This is taking us over here. There's like five people. Oh, seriously. We have one, two, Woo! three, and are you coming on the bus? Yeah, on, yeah I'm just gonna get Grace. All right. So, two seconds. One second, driver. He's gonna go back for somebody. Oh, nice. It's cold. 
Oh. You guys are cuddling. How cute. Oh, I'm gonna go take up the back it. seat. Get a little nap because we're all of we're literally like a quarter mile from the pop-up store, but for some reason Gymshark doesn't want us walking. Maybe because there is a super duper long line and we wouldn't get in the building without meeting and greet. He never wanna just like walk past people and be like, oh sorry, see you inside. So I think they're just taking us in this party bus right to the door, so we bypass that. <sighs> Big dog, just try to get in the We're gonna drop you in into the left here. You gotta just love the energy. You might have a crazy sinus infection, you might be feeling sick and under the weather, but the minute you walk in here, the energy's just gotta be sky high. So do whatever you gotta do. Coffee, free workout, whatever. Alright guys, just arrived to the pop up here in LA. We got people outside. I'm about to go live on Jim Shark's Facebook in about five minutes, so make sure you hop on there. It's going to have a picture. This is where all the action happens. This is where all the goodies are at. Oh, I'm just gonna come in and take hands of this and then sell it on eBay. What do you think, Nomac? If you go on eBay and put in NM, like NM Gymshark. That's just you. There's loads on eBay, that's yeah, it's all me. Everyone's eating chicken. Connect to me away from everything. Hey, Seb, how are you? What's going on? You right, Steve? How's everyone doing? So cute. Who we got here? We have any pizza? Oh, it's not for you. What are those? <laughs> uh oh. Is this is this how an Olympian eats when he's not cooking oh, yeah. for the That's Olympics? how we roll. I like it. Roll. How's your guys' day so far? Haven't really sorted yet. Yeah, we're just waiting to go now. You just guys, had a big breakfast. You guys look really nice. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look really nice yeah. too. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah. What about me? <laughs> You look really nice. <laughs> Thanks. Congrats to these two on their engagement. Yes, yeah. go, go get, like this video for. Uh, oh. <laughs> like this video also for monsters, because I'm about to get lit up in here. Hey, what are you doing with those donuts, no? I'm on top of the other donuts, please. Kill my donuts, bro. Donuts. Like this video if you like donuts. <laughs> Look at that. They're pineapple? They taste okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's barely a normal donut. Okay, straight up. I lived like five blocks away from here, and after one of my competitions, I, I stayed in shape for like a week because I shot with Muscle Fitness, and then literally I walked the streets of Santa Monica and ate and ate and ate pizza. There's a donut shop here, California Donuts. It's really Really, really close. I ate, I think, a dozen donuts, a whole pizza. I've never been so si so sick in my life, and I hate. This is the first time I've ever admitted this publicly. I actually tried to make myself throw up. It was a dark period in my life. I don't recommend doing that. I couldn't do it though. I couldn't even make myself throw up. That's how sad it was. I make myself. Are you vlogging here? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Noel told me you vlog like a what? Six-year-old man? It's worse than that. Oh, That's out. cute, though. Look at that. It's so cute. Go out for a drive. <laughs> we, get, we, get a, we get a picture of the cameras here. You know, it's not. It's not. To be honest, it's not. It's not the size. It's what you do with it. Hey, hey, hey. Probably won't happen, but gotta try. 
I like. Are you vlogging on my camera here? I like it. Here is the the woman of the day, Miss Nikki. How has, how's the day been? I didn't know it was you. Um, it's good. She says, I, I didn't know it was you. I've been giving hugs all day. <laughs> I'm just. She's like, who are you? Who are you right now? You like the blue one? You're not even human. It's it so wasn't. Gross. It's the only one that was up there. I prefer the white first, and then I prefer actually the orange. Yes. Things are crazy out here. I love you too. Day two, a lot of excited people out there. We're almost out of Gymshark stuff. I think the color of the day is green. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. We got Grace in green, Courtney's in green. A lot of green going on today. I can show you guys the same old expo footage, which is awesome, because I like meeting people. Did my voice just crack? Which is awesome. But what I wanted to do today is talk with some of the Gymshark crew, athletes, and also the people behind the scenes, and ask them, what their favorite Gymshark memory is. So Gymshark, Gymshark's been around for about five, six years. Five years? In that, in that time that you've been with Gymshark. Come here, Noel. Let's get Noel's opinion. So this is Noel Mac, my younger brother here. What is your favorite Gymshark memory, Noel? First of all, besides this first right first now, all, besides this right all, now. Don't get annoyed because dad, big Noel, prefers me to you. <laughs> Yo, real talk, my dad, so when, when we did that homecoming video, my dad, Storm and Norman, just fell in love with Noel Mac. Noel comes over, plays the piano, starts talking about all sorts of history. My dad was a government teacher, and they're talking about this and that. Noel's giving his opinion, sounding all eloquent with his English accent. And my dad's like, that Noel Mac, he's got Meanwhile, his stuff. Steve's going, dad, stuff. Dad, I added five pounds to my bench. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Steve. Whatever. Sorry, what was the question? Here is your question. Favorite Gymshark memory? Um, favorite. You don't have to say with me, even though I know they're all with me, so. What? It's hard to pinpoint one because loads, there's, the, there's cool stuff literally always happening with Gymshark. But um, one of the real crazy kind of defining moments, the first time we ever did a pop-up store, which was Nikki B season one, we had we'd never done a pop-up store before. We've done New events York, in right? New York, we've done events, expos, all that kind of stuff. But we've never done a pop-up, we didn't have any idea how it was going to go. So, store's opening at 10, about 8 a.m., I'm walking around the corner and I just see all these people, I think, yo, Nike must be releasing something because we're two doors up from Nike. As I get a little bit closer, everyone's going to Gymshark, and it was like, okay, this just got real. And then there was an eight hour line around the block, and it was just crazy, and the support we received was insane. And it was at that moment where we kind of realized that was that was the defining moment where we thought, we're not going to do, we're not going to do expos anymore. Because, like, we always thought it was the expo bringing those big crowds to us, when we then realized, actually, it's Gymshark that are bringing their crowds. And then, because the, the, the guys were coming in having to pay $25, pounds, $25 yeah. for a ticket, the queue to get to the expo, then the queue to see us. We'd rather put the event on ourselves, no one's got to pay a penny, come and meet your heroes like Big Steve. That's a great point. You know what I'm saying? You guys are putting on your own event, not having to charge. I like that. Yeah. We're doing it in the same city as the expo, so if you want to go to LA Fit at the same time, you can do that and you can come here. You know, it's nice to see. Why would you want to go there when you got no map right here? Now I'm here with Lex. So Lex is the original OG. OG is the first, the first Jim Shark athlete. In all your time, what, five years? What was 2012, I guess. 2012, so going on six years. Coming on six years. So in all that time, what is your favorite, most memorable like Jim Shark time event? Oh my god, easy, easy. It was the first expo where we launched Lux Tracksuit. Because expos at that time, prior to that, it was bodybuilders, hoods up, over a desk. Picture, click and go. I remember those days. We came, beats playing from the stand, tops off, 
no barriers, just fully interacting with everybody. And uh, it was the first time YouTubers got brought over to the UK. So Matt, Yucky, myself, Jeff, we were all there. Nobody ever seen anything like it. Queues were longer for our stand than for like the bodybuilders at the, the And that was like, yo, Gymshark has arrived. Yeah, that was it. That was the arrival. And I remember I remember being at the first the first expo I can remember Gymshark being at, being like, yo, whose booth is that? And at the time I wasn't with Gymshark. I'm like, this is that, that company with a gym, the, the, the shark on the logo? They always had the best time. We've always had the best time at Expos, man. That's it. And that's what we're bringing back with this, dude. That's I what love, we're bringing back. Yeah. This has, again, being disruptive. Like, that yeah. was something new. This is something new now. And here it's free. You come see it's free. We're here to meet people. And I think the Expo started to slow that down a bit more. Because yeah. it was so rammed that we were there. Click and go, click and go. And we became less personal. We don't want to be like that. We want to be able to stand and talk and meet everyone. I love it. We got Yucky Lovato here. Oh, make look Yo, so how, short. how do you wait? How do you get Yucky? How do you get that like? So back in the day, I'm trying to make this short, right? On the misc, on the misc, on the bodybuilding.com misc. Especially if you know what I'm talking about already, you're gonna catch on fast. But. There was something about getting yucky in the club, right? Getting yucky with the boys. Getting Get yucky, yucky with the boys. Yep. Yeah, that kind of meant like going out, having fun, like being relentless, like doing whatever it was that really made it you It was like fun, getting right? lit. Get yucky. Getting lit, getting yucky, exactly. But then, you know, I was like, I can just apply this to like every facet of life, like that, you know. So that's why I have this like amazing personality, and I'm like Dude. way super cooler than anybody else, and including yourself. I kind of get transfixed by your mouth for some reason. Like you yeah. got a, you got a pretty mouth. Man. I have a pretty everything to be honest. My skin complexion is perfect. <laughs> Everyone in here is just going crazy for, at the skin complexion. Yeah, yeah I love it. I love yeah, it. Other than that, it's just getting yucky in life, bro. Getting yucky. And then eventually people just started calling me that because it's just kind of like a way of being. It's stuck. It's kind of funny, especially when you don't know what it means. I like but it. But it just stuck. Hashtag getting yucky. Yeah. Hashtag small donation. Hashtag I love you, bro. <laughs> you want to jump in on this? Thank you. How did it feel yesterday getting beaten arm wrestling? Look. One, two, three. <laughs> Tell you something. Hey, he's like, that was he's the like greatest. Steve was relentless, bro. He didn't even give me a chance. No, I that I was did it for the first second. No, yeah, but that was the greatest L of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next athlete up. You've been with Gymshark. You were the first female athlete. Yes. Four and a half years. That's a long time. Yeah. And all of that time, what has been your most memorable Gymshark moment or event? Lex? I, I was I was really like, I asked Lex this and I was like, say meeting Lainey. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say no. No, I think um I think my second body power. Not my first one, the second, second one. body power. Which yeah. is what year? Um I've done four body parts, so that'd be like three years ago. Okay. Yeah. And that was like that was just epic for us because yeah. it was like that was the first one you were with us at. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that was like it was just so big. Like UK is our like audience. Yeah. And it was just like yeah. Gym Shark oh. or yeah. Expo. But that was their third Gym Shark's third body power, my okay. second body power, and it was just crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. We were throwing out t-shirts, we were getting yucky. We were getting yucky. Oh, we were getting yucky. Yes, swear like yucky. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was the moment. Yeah. In the backyard, like in being the fact that Jim Shark's from Birmingham, like coming in there, yeah. being like, "Yo, your boys all grown up here. We've arrived. This is us. Like they own the expo." So. Yeah. Awesome. It was our. Awesome. The queen, the queen bee here. What? This is like your event. So this, I'm sure, ranks up high. But you've been with Gymshark for how long? Um, since 2014. Going on four years. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. In that entire time, what has been your like most favorite moment? I think my favorite moment was probably just like walking up to my first pop-up store the first time. This is the first time that I've seen. Yeah, yeah. In New York. Surreal. It was the first time. Yeah. It's like, look, mom, I like, made it. Whoa, and I, I literally just burst into tears. As soon as I walked into the yard, it was super overwhelming. So. I saw that. That was cool. That gave me chills actually seeing that yeah. video. Gymshark did an awesome job with that. That was actually Noel's 
favorite moment too, walking into that store. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, it was know, big it was for so you, cool. and I think it was just big for Gymshark yeah. as a whole. It was Soho, New York. Like, it's just like, it's such a cool place. Nice. Well, congrats with everything. Okay. This event has been absolutely insane. So, last day, you guys, are you guys, are you guys all done now? Yeah. Monsters all around. I'm about to get started. say this I take complete credit for Karina becoming a Gymshark athlete I do I told no Noel, Noel like where he could find her I think I even gave Noel your cell phone number maybe not I don't know <laughs> but at the time I was like yo this girl no is up and there he is right there yeah come here Noel. okay we're gonna make a <laughs> Remember when you came He's over? To take credit. Wait, hold on. For me becoming. When you came over and I was living in Playa Vista, yeah. and we were talking about athletes, and Karina's name came up. I, the first time you heard of Karina, I take credit for that, 100%. Oh. That's what I thought. No, 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 Say it again. No, no. Hold on, no, no. listen. Steve gets like 30% of the credit. 30%? Okay, okay, okay here we go. Let me see what happened. We, I was shooting you in golf. Yes. Karina walked in next to us to shoot with Sarah. Yes. And I went, whoa, who's that? And I said, that was the girl I was telling you about. Is that what you said? That's what I said. No, 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 no. I was like, hey, That's she. Thank you very much. Oh my Thank gosh. So I, I get 30%. I get Thank you very much. And bye-bye. And close hey, I'm just going to require a 10% royalty for that. This guy, like, this guy. If you, if you haven't seen this guy's abs, like, the best abs in the world, um, Mr. Ryan Terry. Mr. Like, Mr. Britain, Mr. AKA, like, I'm married now, so. that He, he has been with Gymshark for how long? Uh, just under a year now, so we're joined in February. So you're a relatively new kid on the block. I am. This is my first pop-up store. First pop-up store. store. First pop-up store. It's my first pop-up store too. Yeah. Yeah. In London, no? Yeah, I did London. No. Have they done a London? Have they done a London? No, I didn't do that. Okay. Okay. But what in all the, the 11 months that you've been with Gymshark, what's the favorite, like, what's the defining moment or what's your favorite moment? For me, um, obviously seeing how much of a following Gymshark has got, the quality it has. I like the family uh, feel. Yeah, I wasn't used to that. I'm with uh, supplement companies, I'm with um, watch companies, all those other can. But this seems to be very different. It seems yeah. like everyone gets on and it's not just the show. Everyone seems to be texting each other in the night and making sure. <laughs> it's a young crew too. It is. So compared to maybe like a supplement company, it's like a big corporation that's been around yeah. for a while. True. True. Gymshark's like young, they're making moves. They're not afraid, I think, to work like a big corporation. So like these events, I think, are, you know, a supplement company might be afraid not to be at an expo. Yeah. Or Gymshark's like, let's try this. Yeah. Let's try something new. as well, it's, I'm, it's stepping me out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I'm used to like the bodybuilding world. Right. And this is very different. It touches on bodybuilding, but it's, it's more lifestyle and it's something I, I'd like to get into. So uh, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. And uh, hopefully over the next two years, I can get into like the YouTube side of it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. What's your YouTube? Tell people your YouTube. So my YouTube is Ryan J. Terry. Um, it's very slow going at the minute. So obviously the content will be going uh, every week. Uh, yeah. You want an amazing set of abs. Watch Ryan's YouTube. The guy's the best abs in the industry. And congrats, Ryan is getting engaged. Yes. Look at his, look at his awesome fiance. She's vlogging over here. You got a winner. You got a winner. just got done eating at the Cheesecake Factory. I love the Cheesecake Factory. And we were walking out, and there was a guy named Tico that came to the store today, and he uh, drove from Reno. They drove here yesterday, waited like eight hours in the line. And this isn't a story that is unique. That's, I mean, it's unique in that like, it's extreme, but there's people, I hear the story, at a lot of expos, and at the this event this week, and a lot of people had a similar story. 
the people that come to these things, like, I can't say how crazy and how appreciative I am because he's taking the time, his work vacation, he works, a, a, you know, 12 hours a day. He yeah. takes the time that he has off to drive 10 hours to then wait in line for eight, for eight hours. Yeah. And then he, they leave tonight to drive 10 hours back. And I just think, you know, like, sometimes I'll be working an expo and I'll be like, man, this is draining. And I'm the type of person, you know, I like going back to my room and I, I don't like going out afterwards because I, I need my time to recharge. And, and you know, it is tiring, but I have nothing to complain about when it comes to like, I just, I guess I'm so appreciative for people that are out there that do that because, you know, I, I don't fully understand it, but I'm sure the rest of the other Gymshark people feel this way too. Like. It is, it's amazing, I guess, what Gymshark has cultivated and what they have kind of done. And not just Gymshark, there's a lot of great companies out there in fitness that do that. And I hope one day that, uh, you know, Fitness Culture, the brand, or whatever it is that we do for supplements, we can have that where it's like people, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to make a difference for people in their lives. And I think that's what this weekend, like, it's really cool to see. You know, Nikki, Nikki's line killed it. It was good to see the whole Gymshark crew. They have, I think, Honestly, it's it's a powerful, powerful team, and you know not everyone is the exact same. Not everyone has the same goals, but I think at the end of the day, it's, it's a pretty good, pretty good family. Yeah, totally. It was an awesome turnout. It was so yeah. You're tired, but. And what was your best Gymshark memory of all time? Oh, I just signed with Gymshark in September, so probably this because I just got to meet so many people like outside of like the bodybuilding industry to actually come to one of these pop-up events and you know, talk to and just share stories. It was really fun. It was an awesome experience. Oh, this, so this was your favorite? Yeah, well, it was like my first like thing, so probably. Sure. How'd you get lined up with Jim Sherry? I'm gonna go eat All my, right. I'm gonna go eat my, my gluten-free vegan cookies. I have a vegan cookie for you. Nope. That's how I get her to not be mad at me. I'm gonna eat all these vegan cookies if you don't come back. All these vegan cookies are so good. This is what I do to the, the little poppy. If she doesn't come in from the cold outside, I start pretending I have treats. All these vegan cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I really am gonna eat one right now. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys have a good night. I'm gonna go entice Courtney with a vegan cookie and then I'm gonna go watch. This is the boyfriend I am. I'm gonna go watch Game of Thrones. I'm forcing her to watch it. I've already seen it. Those are pretty good. Let's do you guys for later.